welcome back to the chow down today I'm coming at you with a really quick video showing you how to make these red velvet crinkle cookies so please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel for more Christmas videos so to start I'm going to measure out my dry ingredients and I have two and a quarter cups of flour and two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder two teaspoons of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt and I'm just going to mix that all together so all of my ingredients are nice and combined. And then to my stand mixer, I'm going to add four tablespoons of softened butter and eight ounces of softened cream cheese. And I'm going to beat these together until they're nice and combined and fluffy. Next, I'm going to add one egg and beat that in as well. Then I'm going to add one tablespoon of red food coloring. Next I'm going to add two cups of sugar, one cup at a time, making sure I beat everything together in between each cup. Once all those ingredients are mixed together, I'm going to slowly add my dry ingredients. I'm doing a third of my dry ingredients at a time and slowly, so you don't make a mess, beating these together. Once everything is combined, I'm going to cover my bowl with plastic wrap and pop it into the refrigerator for about 30 minutes to chill the dough. Meanwhile, I'm going to preheat my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Once my dough has chilled, I'm going to take about a cup of powdered sugar and I'm going to take this uh, cookie dough scoop and I'm going to form balls. This is about mm, a tablespoon or two tablespoons. And I'm just going to roll my dough into balls and then I'm going to roll it into the powdered sugar uh, until it's very well coated in the powdered sugar and then I'm just going to place it on a parchment lined baking sheet. So for this recipe I used dark cocoa powder mainly because it's all I had on hand and I realized after I made the dough that it made it a lot darker than normal red velvet cookie dough. Uh, this is more like burgundy, but it matches my sweater, so I'm not mad at it. And um, once it's coated in the powdered sugar and it bakes, it actually still looks really good. But just make sure you use regular cocoa powder and a tablespoon of red food coloring to make sure you get that nice vibrant red color. Once you've formed all your balls, you want to place it into your oven for about 10 to 12 minutes until they are nice and gooey. They will naturally flatten out and crinkle. And that's all I have for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And stay tuned for more 12 Days of Christmas videos. Bye!